At Boston Medical Center's Grow Clinic, tiny lives are saved every day. Realizing that third world malnutrition exists in Boston and that we are the safety net for those kids. Those kids, if they don't come to us, then they could die from malnutrition here in Boston is just absolutely shocking. The staff here see some of the city's most vulnerable patients. Their plight, often made immeasurably worse by poverty. We just had a child in clinic who had done okay the month before and was doing awful, baby, doing really awful. And we said, goodness, to the mother, what, was, what happened? You know, we're thinking maybe he'd gotten terribly ill. And, we, and she said, well, we have to move. And so we're cutting back on as much as we can so we have money for the deposit. For a kid whose brain is growing, to not get enough nutrition stunts not only their growth, but their brain for the rest of their life. Because the first thing that a child does who isn't getting enough to eat is to cut down on playing, on interacting, on exploring, and that's how babies learn. I typically will talk about a kid's trajectory, and if a kid is on this trajectory and we're able to push them up and get them on a different trajectory, that has huge implications for their lifetime. It is very painful. The only thing that makes it doable is the fact that with help, they get better. And you can see them. You know, they go from looking like little skin and bones to looking like kids. And that's incredibly cheering and, you know, makes you feel like you've done something, even though the next kid comes in the door. The moment we graduate, in comes the next one. But you know you can help. And we couldn't help if it wasn't for the philanthropy. Insurance and billings cover only a fraction of the Grow Clinic's budget. Donations make up the difference and make possible the Grow Clinic's unique team approach, one that has become a model for nutrition programs nationwide. Just doing the medical piece doesn't solve the problem. If you don't have a roof over your head or enough food resources, you're not going to really be able to take care of the child who's got failure to thrive. Social workers Patience Sampson and Mary Clemens conduct home visits to better assess how children are being fed. The clinic stocks clothes, books, and formula, and through its medical legal partnership for children, can address a host of legal issues that affect families. A lot of our families not only are dealing with food insufficiency, they're also dealing with housing insufficiency. You know, do I pay for the rent? Do I heat my home? Or do I buy food? There's all sorts of survival problems that families face, homelessness and uh, moms who are very uh, overwhelmed and depressed for reasons that anybody would be overwhelmed and depressed. But everything is worse because it's in the context of poverty. So problems that would be a nuisance but would not cause children to become seriously malnourished in a economically secure family such as a food allergy or a child who spits up a lot are catastrophic in our setting because there's no extra food, there's no real choices about food unless we help families get those choices. Together with the medical, legal, and social work services they receive here, Grow Clinic families are often referred to Boston Medical Center's food pantry, which developed out of the Grow Clinic itself. Most of our uh, families do use the food pantry here, and they do a great job. They do have fresh fruits, vegetables, which is great. And that is unique. As far as I know, there is no other hospital in the country with a pantry. He's another kid that I think just desperately needs a supplementation. The staff did. meets before and after clinic to review cases and brainstorm approaches for each family. Yes. And always there is celebration when a family graduates and hope that one day malnutrition in Boston won't threaten these innocent lives. We still haven't lost the dream that someday this clinic will not be needed, or at least won't be anywhere near as busy, that there'll be a few kids with you know, unusual problems. But that time isn't yet. <laughs> <laughs>